Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and welcome to probably one of the most hyped updates probably in the history of this game. I mean this is something that people have wanted for so 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 long and it is absolutely amazing that they have finally added this into the game. So this is the um, update 24.1, the colour in space update. So um, for anyone who's been on the channel for quite a long time we've always wanted customization for all of the objects in game and and for a long time it's only really been rocky planets that we've been able to customize but not anymore as now we can go to gas giants so actually now we'll go to uranus actually and um, that'd be the best one to do it with so if we go to uranus this works with any gas giant you've got that um that's in the game i wouldn't try modded ones i don't know if they'd work or not but this there's this new appearance tab here and check this out you can now fully customize any gas giant in the game so look at this so for instance if i'm going to go for a custom uranus let's first of all remove some bands so all you need to do is click add, add and minus bands simple as that um so pretty cool easy i'm not sure if there's a limit on the amount of colors you can add i'm assuming there is because i have had a little experimentation before i started this video but yeah there we go so let's just lower it down so we've got two bands and then if we're going to go for a custom uranus we simply just need to do this so like that and there you go I'd already argue that's quite a um, cool looking object. So if we, then we can just add sort of more bands and just sort of have a little play around with it. But yeah, for, for the time being, there you go. That That's already a, probably a better example of Uranus than the one that's already in the game. But there you go. You can simply make a custom Uranus like that. Easy, no problem. Don't have to mod the game or anything like that. So it sort of makes some modded objects kind of irrelevant now since anyone can make them. But one thing you can also do with this, if we go to the orbit mode, you can see Uranus's orbit. You can now actually change the colour of these as well in game. So you can change the trail colour. You can have, literally have any colour you want. Any hex code of all of this stuff. And literally any colour. Literally anything you want. So, so, so cool. That's quite annoying. So I was actually modding myself um, a few weeks ago. And I had to model trail colours. But now you can just do it in game. So that is really, really cool. But also one thing you can do. And I actually can't believe they added this. I never thought they would. But if we head to the sun. Check this out. So here it is. So here's the sun. Colour mode. So if we go to custom, check this out. Look at this. Star customization is in the game. This is the no mods. This is all this is all this was all added um yesterday, I believe. I'm a day late, so apologies for that. But yeah, this isn't modded. This is just a generic solar system simulation. You can now fully customize star colours. So look at this. You could probably make some ultra red looking, like you can really make a proper good looking like red giant sort of thing now. I mean I'm not going to try and do it too much, but just sort of like a rough idea. Um, you could probably make quite a decent looking red giant sort of star now. So, I mean, how, how cool is that? I mean, let's just go down here. For instance, it says like the ultra red. It's a bit too pink, actually. But if we just go to the red color, I mean, maybe something like this. I mean, like a red giant. I'm not really I'm not really going to try and spend ages. I'm pretty sure I could make something cool if I did try. But yeah, it's obviously wouldn't be that red. But you can literally have any color you want, any star. Obviously, with this, you can also change you have to, yeah, interface color. You just do that. You put it on custom. And you can also have a custom trail for the sun as well. So as you can see, its trail is currently green. You can change that to um, any color as well. You can see it's changing there slightly. So yeah, as we, it's quite hard to see. But yeah, that trail behind the sun, that does change color. As you can see, the name of the sun as well is also changing the color. So you can do that all custom stuff now that is so 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 cool and and it's all in the game for you guys to check out right now so obviously if you're on the steam version definitely give the game and give the game a um open today get that updated and you can access all of this stuff so actually speaking of more stuff we can customize let's just head to venus quickly so here it is so here is um the regular old venus in the game never no, never really been a fan of the colored atmosphere on this but now oh so it always was a green colored atmosphere yeah so it was green so if we just plop it to orange there you go, already a custom Venus, which looks way better. So you can literally just make custom solar system objects in-game now. I mean, how, how cool is that? That is so, so, so awesome. So you can now have cloudy planets. You don't even have to mod cloud like um, or atmosphere thickness on planets anymore. You can simply just use a Venus or a Titan. I'm assuming it works with Titan as well, so we'll quickly test that. So yeah, Venus and Titan, they're your best bets for um, atmosphere thick objects. So yeah, with these guys, you simply just have to... Yeah, you can do it with Titan. You can simply just change the colour. And then you can have a super thick um, colour of any of your choice. You don't have to mod atmosphere thickness anymore. You can simply just use Venus or Titan and get thick um, atmosphere planets that way. I mean, that's awesome stuff right there. I mean, you could probably make a custom Titan. Have it any colour you want as well. I mean, that's that's so awesome how you can do that. Now, that is so, so, so cool. It's great. They listen to the feedback. I mean, credit where credit's due. Very nice job, Universe Sandbox Team, for this. I mean, I doubt you're ever going to watch this video, but wow. So, so, so awesome. They, they have done this. I mean, you could literally just spend 
absolutely hours just customizing objects and just getting them exactly the way you want i'll definitely have to do some more videos on making custom solar systems and stuff now i mean even with earth you can give it a custom blue atmosphere you can make it more blue you could give it a white atmosphere like you could go with any shade of blue you want like you could perfect the color of earth's atmosphere to your liking um with that stuff that is so 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 cool I wonder if you can change the surface enough because I have seen people who have been able to do that. I'm not sure if you can do it in game. I believe it's modded and stuff. Um, yeah, I think it is. But yeah, now you can give your Earth custom trail colors. I mean, let's just quickly, briefly do a custom sort of solar system like with all of the planets here. So Mercury, it's a sort of brownish color. It's also got like a dark. Oh no, that's not the color we want. We want the interface color. So we'll go with like a dark sort of like brownish color. So Mercury, there you go. Sort of imp like more of improved sort of trail color. It's all also customs. We've got Mercury. Venus is already fairly uh, a fairly decent color for its trail. But there you go. We have Earth, which is blue. We'll make it a little lighter. So there you go. And already a custom wing. Mars is known as a red planet, which definitely should be more of like a reddish color like that. I mean, it's just simple spec. Honestly. If I was to do this, or I know I probably am going to do this in my custom simulations. I'm definitely going to give it a lot more thought than this. I mean, Jupiter and Saturn, they don't, they don't really need much change of their colors. I mean, you could give it a slight change but yeah just just a rough idea of what you can do you could really make your own planet or your custom solar systems unique to yourselves by having just custom trail colors and stuff i mean neptune obviously we're going to increase the blue on that guy there you go make it a lot more blue but there you go you can simply just there's an idea of what you could do um just as sort of a demo you can really make your custom solar systems a lot more custom and unique to yourselves now with custom trails slightly slightly different atmospheres obviously with the gas giants so, for instance, with the Uranus I did there, you can make your own custom variant now. You don't have to mod it in the game anymore. Neptune, I'm definitely going to be having a play around with. Um, to get, like, have some fun with those colours. I mean, with these, like, you could, like, if you just keep um, clicking and making them all blue, you could probably get a nice ultra blue Neptune if you want to go for a little more unrealistic. Or you could try and add more bands to it to get a more realistic looking one. It's simply all up to you with what you can do. Obviously, um, you can change the colour of all of the outer solar system objects as well. Like, you could literally do anything. Sedna here, you could make it look more red like I have with mine. Like, you could do so much to the custom solar systems now. I, I can't wait to have a player around with this. I may may do you guys want me to do a video on it? I could do a video of, like, updating my simulation if you want. But I'm definitely going to do a video once I've updated it. But maybe I could do a video of developing it if you guys want to see that as well. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. But just the amount of stuff that is in this update... Like, you, there's infinite choices of what you could do now. I mean, Mars, you can definitely have a change of its atmosphere, make it a lot more um, realistic looking, since in the, the game version is slightly red, so all you need to simply do is just make it look more like the surface colour, make it match a little easier. Like, the, the amount of customization you can do now, and it's great that they've made it available for solar system objects, because originally, when you could customise the surface of rocky planets, for instance, so if we just spawn a random one in here, you used to be only, only be able to customise these surface colours. I believe it was on surface here. Where, where, where do you even do that now? A oh, high, low, and middle. Okay, so, yeah, they, these are all here. You used to be able, only be able to change these colours, but now you can change the interface colour. I'm guessing the atmosphere colour will show up if you added an atmosphere to this. Like, you can do all of that in-game. You don't have to mod anymore or anything for that stuff, so only the, only the complex stuff will really need modding now, but already that's looking quite cool with just what I've sort of done in the demo here. Obviously, the sun will put that back to normal for now, but... That this is awesome. This is so cool, and I'm, I'm definitely going to be having to play around with this with my custom solar systems and just improving them and just having a, um, a good change up with those. That is so 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 cool. Um, and yeah, like I said earlier, I have a, I, before I made this video, I did have a little play around in it. So one thing I did discover is any objects with bands. So say like this crazy lime green one here, um, one of the oldest banded objects. If you open the menu on this object, so if I was to click it here, so as you can see, this one is one of those crate. They're absolutely crazy amount of bands. When you open the, when you, oh, yeah, so let's just go to Earth, for instance. When you open the appearance menu on one of these gas giants, so if I was to click this right now, it would crash the game because with the amount of bands it has, the game, I don't think the game is programmed to be able to read that many bands. So, for instance, with Jupiter here, Jupiter's got a, a reasonable amount of bands. I'm assuming if you keep clicking, it will eventually hit a limit. Um, so something like that, I don't know how high, I mean, I'm just going to keep clicking it there, and it's going to keep adding them. I, I don't know how much it can go to with the amount of bands, but I'm assuming there is a limit. And I think this banded object here, I think this over like goes over that limit, so whenever you open this, it actually crashes the game. So anyone with banded objects like this, I wouldn't recommend opening them on the appearance menu, because I think it will break your, or like crash your game, since it already did that when I was having a little play around. So yeah, definitely stay aware of that. Um, and also one thing, um, going on to the actual other patch notes, the behind the scenes stuff. So we obviously we've got all of the new um, 
um, customization with stars and gas giants now, mainly the big two of this thing. But there's also improved black hole visuals, so we'll go ahead and check that out quickly. Don't bother saving this simulation, I already have a better version of it. But So if we go to a black hole now, I'm hoping they fix some other stuff with black holes as well, because black holes have always been very glitchy. So apparently these guys have got a visual improvement, so anything we can spot? They are looking slightly different, I will say. I mean, I think I think there's more of like a black glow around them now. I, I'm not really sure. I don't really use black holes much. But I want to say they look slightly different than before. They still look awesome. Hopefully, they're not as glitchy. And this menu is different. That did not used to look like that. But that is a welcome addition. I like that. So there, there's the full look at the black hole there. Yeah, the, the, like the, this one thing I wish we could maybe that's the sort of the next thing we could ask the, the developers is if we could save custom preset background because obviously we've had these so we could add more that would be cool but i mean that's just an idea but um yeah that'd be really cool if we do that but yeah black holes is not really too much difference that i can spot there i'm sure um they, there is some sort of change because they did mention it obviously um there's also a lot of fixes water no longer appears on, at low elevations when object does not have water i experienced that glitch that was quite a common glitch um they've also fixed some thumbnails you um corrected values for nebula and galaxies and stuff okay that's cool and they've also added a new object called the long sword so i'm guessing this is in the human object tab so where are we? Let's just go ahead and remove that. Right, uh, where are we? So the long sword. There we go. This is new. So let's see this here. Let's uh, go ahead and have a look at this thing. And also one thing as well, guys. Human objects. So these objects here, these cannot be customized. So yeah, just keep that in mind as well if you are wondering why you can't. So yeah, they've got a long sword now. So let's get a good look at this guy. So no idea why they added it, but um, there's already a lot of random objects in the game. So it's not really a big deal. I mean, it's just a nice addition to get some more random stuff. There's a good look at the sword as well there in all of its glory. Looking pretty cool. I mean, you could probably... Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure there'd be a way to mod it. You could probably make it, a, uh, for instance, a diamond sword or a golden sword or anything if you want you could probably change the color of that blade with some sort of modding yeah look you can't you can't change the interface color with these guys but it's still cool that you can do that uh, that's cool but yeah i bet there'll be a way for people to tint this or something make it look cool but um yeah there we go so that is all of that and i think one last thing i'm gonna do is um for today is i'm, I'm just gonna have a little play with a gas giant band so here we go we've got a, um let's just go over more ugly looking gas giant actually so let's get yeah, one like this so there we go so a complete horrible looking gas giant say say we're trying to spawn in random gas giants to try and get an all blue one to look like planet nine for instance actually that's actually one thing i will do i'm going to spawn in my planet nine so there we go my original old planet nine i've had for so long now which was a random spawn so this is it here so this is the actual colors it had so my planet nine my original one it had four different colors as we can see there they're all slightly different as you can see but now you can add and remove them so in theory i could really customize my planet nine and make it look really cool but say i wanted to replicate planet nine how easy would it be so first of all we're going to have four bands right i'm not going to look at the colors on planet nine i'm just going to guess and try and get the colors exactly or similar to planet nine to see sort of how easy it is to do so there we go simple as that and as you can see already i'm already sort of getting close to the sort of the colors i'm not sure how to make it more reflective in color but i'm sure there's a way to do it there you go something like that i mean you just have to make the color slightly different but already i'm already sort of replicating my planet nine quite well there so yeah pretty pretty cool stuff that you can do that uh, that is that is really awesome how you can just do this at gas giants now I mean, you, you can have a lot, a big play around with this and just try and get the colours exactly how you want it. I mean, this is this is so cool. But yeah, just there's just an example that you, you could, in theory, if you guys want a planet line like mine, you could easily replicate it now. I mean, I can show you the colour codes if you want to get the exact colours. So there, there we go. There's That's the first band. So just pause the video um, if you want to copy them. But yeah, there are the codes for my planet nine if you ever want to get a version of it. It looks like they're all appearing as the same colour for some reason. That's kind of weird. Oh, but yeah, so FC0303, that seems to be the only colour that's appearing on all of these for some reason. I don't know why it's doing that, but um, never mind. Because they are, they are looking all different. You can also change the colours of all this as well. This is this is just so cool how you can do this. Default, yeah, okay, so it's always been like this anyway. But yeah, there we go. So that, that's just a little replica I sort of made of Planet 9 there. I mean, from a distance, I mean, it looks quite similar. It's not exactly the same, but I'm sure someone will probably work out how to do it if they want to um give it a go but yeah there you go so that is just awesome stuff obviously you could literally do you can make a custom variant of any of the planets in the solar system now i mean with neptune we're definitely gonna have a player this quickly on video before we end off as well so for instance say if i wanted a more vibrant blue for instance so i want to make it less realistic i want to go for an ultra sort of blue so let's just remove some of the bands just so we can start off start off a little easier and then i'm just going to make it the deepest blue i can just to get an ultra blue sort of looking neptune like my custom variant so let's just go ahead and do this make all the colors blue and just see sort of what we end up with if you want to see how hard it would be to make it look good so there we go if you just make all the colors a darker blue um there you go so we can see we're progressing quite nicely so yeah there we go looking good so let's just keep doing it 
like so. Okay, so it's looking good. Right, keep going. Want to get all those light colours to the more vibrant blue there. Let's keep it up. Looking good. But yeah, the, already you can see it's, it's already getting that deeper blue to it, which is looking really, really nice, I have to say. Obviously, not as realistic, but in theory, you could make an ultra-realistic Neptune now because you can make it um, a more lighter blue, and you can really make a Neptune look good now with all this. But yeah, there you go. So that's just a sort of rough idea of um, an, an ultra-blue Neptune. But yeah, there you go. So if you want an ultra-blue Neptune job done like that simple as that and also you can add more bands to it as well obviously they appear like that so it's got an all blue south pole it almost looks like a um a, a, um, a polar cap now on a gas giant that looks kind of weird but yeah simply if you want to get a, a blue neptune that's just simply all you need to do now so that is that is really really awesome how you can just do that wow so yeah really really cool stuff and the developers are doing this and it's great that they listen to what um the community has to say i mean it's, it's great i mean people have been asking for it and they've actually delivered on it really really cool stuff and yeah very very nice job to the team i, I doubt you ever see the video but um, yeah just really really awesome stuff and wow yeah i thank you from everyone for actually do, uh, like adding this things i mean for everyone who's been on my channel for a long time uh, i'm sure we all know we have all wanted this for such a long time to be able to customize gas giants i remember when we when we first worked out um or when the first modders first worked out how to customize gas giants, it was so huge. And people people were once saying in the comments, how do you make these? And it was the amount of hype for colored gas giants was insane. But now we can actually do it in game. That's so cool. Everyone can just make unique planets now. You don't have to be a modder to make custom planets anymore. I mean, that is so, so, so awesome. And yeah, just so cool. And I'm so glad they added it. But yeah, there we go, guys. So that does it for today's video on the new update. So yeah, update 24.1 there. Um, and yeah, this was the um, let's just get the name of it. So this was the color in space update So yeah, it came on oh, it came out two days ago actually so I'm a little late on it But apologies for that, but yeah, I've got the video on it now and yeah Hopefully you enjoyed my little overview of the update So if I was to rate this out of 10, this has got to be a 10 out of 10 update for what it includes I mean, this is what people have wanted for so long 10 out of 10 for this update. I mean, this is I, I mean I've wanted this for so long as well, but I know a lot of you guys have this is just so 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 cool For me definitely one of the best updates I've ever done along with um what was it when they added the rocky planet customization as well definitely one of definitely up there as one of the top updates they've ever done here but yeah really really awesome stuff but yeah that is everything guys so if you like this video let's see if we can go for 50 likes on the new um up for the new update today because i think it really really deserves it with this new update definitely get the likes give as much feedback as you um can to the developers if you um have access to all that stuff on their discord server and all that as well we just, yeah really really cool stuff and yeah wow uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy they've added this but yeah really really cool but yeah let's see if we can go for 50 likes subscribe if you're new helps on the journey to um 12 000 subscribers now i can't believe i'm saying that so yeah just a massive thank you to everyone who's recently subscribed as well just i really appreciate it it's absolutely amazing it means the world and yeah really really cool just yeah i cannot thank you enough i mean i i say it fairly often but yeah it's so 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 awesome so yeah massive thank you um to you all for that as well and also make sure to join my discord server link in the description where you can um chat with me about video ideas you can also give me ideas you can send in custom solar systems to me to check out and obviously with this new update you'll be able to customize your systems a lot more to your specifications now you won't need modded objects or anything like that you can make everything you want from scratch pretty much in the game now for all of the um cool planets and stuff like that so yeah really really cool and yeah guys just a massive thank you for watching today's video as well um i hope you enjoyed it and yeah make sure you have a great day guys and yeah i will see you all in the next video goodbye